Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kan Simi, a show where we discuss life stories, uh, we talk about the normal things that we have gone through and the things maybe that we wish other people had shared with us in our uh, growing up and even in our relationship. And so today we are dealing with a marriage topic, a very exciting marriage topic, and this is uh, the five things that men admire about women. Now, to the ladies who are dating uh, in courtship, don't miss out on this. These are things that men look out in a, women, in a woman. Sometimes they do it secretly, and sometimes you're already married and you don't have them, and they keep wishing, I wish my wife can do this. So what are those five things that every man wishes his wife had, or the things they admire about the, the women they want in their lives? Now, to join us on this discussion, Please go to our YouTube channel, Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime, subscribe, like the video, and put a comment of the things that you want uh, to share with us, the things we need to include or to discuss in our next program. With me to carry on this conversation is Miss Jessica Chemerire. Uh, she will tell us her name and how long she has been married, uh, and Miss Daisy Michurezi. She will also talk about herself and then who will carry on this discussion. Enjoy, Miss Daisy. Thank you very much, uh, um Hello, my name is Daisy and Shulia Zimises. I have been married for 23 years and we have four children. And you're still hot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> still more cows in there. <laughs> yes, my name is Jessica Tushemereire. I've been married for 31 years. We have three adult children. Wow, we thank God yeah. that you know after uh, manufacturing all that, I know. <laughs> cooking and doing all those things, right? Then uh, you still look this stunning. Thank you. And by the way, uh, before we dig into those habits that um, the things that men look at in the in the marriage, in in a woman they want. Mm -hmm. Do women have expectations? I'm not expecting an answer. <laughs> we will discuss this in, in the next video. Mm. But uh, as we go into there, we, we know that women also have their, the things they admire about men, right? Yes. But today let's side with what men like about the women. And after all, even if you admired, you can never approach a man, uh, our culture. Eh? Yes. You can never approach a man and say, oh, I like you because you have one, two, three. Right. But a man will always come and say, this thing has attracted me yes. to this lady. And so talk about those girls who men can court. You know, they give you an engagement ring for five years and he's still engaging you. Mm. What are those things men are normally looking for? I think one thing that men would be looking for uh, in a girl for that long, uh, which they are not seeing, which is why maybe they're not you know, uh, making the commitment towards marriage, mm. is a calm spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, uh, when girls are being dated or courted, um, they, they are really being treated like queens and sometimes I think that goes to our heads, mm. you know, to, the, to the young girls' heads. Mm -hmm. So you, you end up behaving in a certain way. Like a spoiled child. Yes, and, and expecting to be pampered and expecting, you know, that the, 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 your, your spouse or boyfriend is going to um, do everything uh, for you. Mm -hmm. But the state might be waiting to see how you react to certain things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for instance, um, it's not very common that before the marriage, or before a marriage, uh, the gentleman might be seeing you as a cool, calm, collected person, mm. prim and proper, you know, mm. well behaved. Because you meet on arranged dates. Yes, it's all very arranged, it's all very, you know, you, the expectation is there what you're going for. Mm. Uh, but then at some point in time, maybe just out of the blue one day, something sparks you off. Oh, and you show the colors. The, the, the waiter brings the wrong... <laughs> bumps into you a little bit as, yeah. as they're putting the food on the, on the table and my goodness mm. you blast off like a rocket mm. and this man is like is that mm. just a coincidence mm -hmm. or is that how she is and so he will keep waiting to see if that happens again mm. a calm spirit I think men really like that because when they get home from work <clears throat> fast forward now to you know a gentleman who's working and has been out there all day from 8 to eight to 5 or to 6 and he comes home and he's thinking, if I find this lady in a bad mood, mm. I am finished. Mm. They will not stay in that family. Mm. They will not stay in that marriage. If they do stay, it will be pretense. Mm. And so we need to be able to look out for calm spirit. For calmness. 
And that reminds me, there is this statement many ladies like to make. It calls the husband on the phone, honey, we have to talk. You know, the <laughs> moment right. you mention to a man that you have to talk, he knows there is violence, right. there is quarreling, there yes. is trouble, shouting, there is so no. much Calling shouting. Names. <laughs> so when the woman says, I have to, we have to talk, yeah. men in most cases put a guard and right. they know she is the wrong Right. person. Right. I cannot marry this one. Mm -hmm. Or if you're already married, it mm -hmm. keeps staying away from you because right. around you there is no peace. Right. Let's cut take us there. So yes, thank you, Grace. So that there are still thirty one years I've been in marriage. Mm -hmm. I have interacted with men. Mm -hmm. I, I mean viewers will wonder how we are women and how we are saying what men love. Mm -hmm. So some people come to us yes. to tell us to maybe cancel them or uh, or even have sons. They have mm. problem overload. Yes, we have <laughs> the sons. The home is becoming right, unbearable. Yeah. We have friends. So I have this one incident of a young man who was dating my a girl who was working for me. Oh. And uh, the boy was my friend. So along the way, it stopped. Mm. So I approached the girl. I said, why have you broken off with the other mm. gentleman? Mm. She says, ah, ah. Taina Rugendo, meaning she doesn't <laughs> see where he's going. There's no future. There's no future uh, because she was relating him to uh, his brother mm. who had things, right. had a car and had a house. Mm. So this one did not have. So I was secretly went to the boy and said, what happened? Mm. I, I thought you were moving, said, and I was getting ready to be mm. a katera room, a go between. Mm. Mm. He says, you know what? Your friend wanted was telling me that I should have a house and have a car. Mm. And and a boy asked the girl, We are almost the same age. Mm. <laughs> Show me your car and your house. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes we ask the girls, we expect men to have lots of money. Mm. And you want someone who already has money. I said some mm. and it's putting off some men. Mm. Right. So if you're going to a man Make sure you go and the way he is and the way you are and you begin there mm. and you move forward. Not expecting to go with someone who already loaded. Mm. In other words, men love women who are realistic exactly. and down to earth. Yes. I know. I have seen cases, you know these days the internet, some people post almost everything, mm. the relationship. They post it there so you can follow up a relationship mm. from the time it starts <laughs> up to the time it ends in tears. Right. Of course, the netizens always predict that this relationship will end right. in okay. tears. And the biggest challenge that I have seen is a man who proposes, he will say, she's her simplicity. Mm. She's not too materialistic. Mm. And so, ladies watch out. Mm. Like Daisy mentioned, men like a calm, spirited woman. Because that home that he's coming to mm. is his refuge. Right. Okay? The world bashes so much out there. They bash this man. Mm. Same with the ladies, when, it, when we are talking about the area of what women want. Mm. The world bashes the men, and they are feeling like they have to take the food home, they have yeah. to be the men, mm. they have to be. And so when he comes home, it should be calmness. Right. It should be peace. It should be, yeah. I remember one time my husband lost so much money. Mm. He, he bought a building and, and uh, he thought he bought, but it was a double sale. Mm. Right. So he was conned. Mm. So much money. And so when he, when he was still going to buy it, he was feeling so, you know, yeah. big and he was going to purchase. He didn't want my opinion. Right. And my opinion was, I don't like that place because <laughs> you can never establish mm. the ownership. So he went and goes and pays out this money. Then it turns out he has been conned. And so, you know, when they are coming back home, mm, yeah. after that situation, they are very humble. Mm, yeah. <laughs> they are not certain. Yeah. And so when he walks in and he says, they have stolen the money and the building is not there. At that moment, I could have finished him. Right. Mm. When I told him, I oh, said, so well. let's pray. Mm. Okay? Let's pray. The money has gone, but at least you have the life. Mm. You don't have to struggle so much yeah. Because those people can come after your right. life if you raise. Yes. And so we prayed. Approach. It was a calm environment, and 
I think maybe that's why he treats me like a queen. Because honestly, <laughs> that man treats me like a queen. Mr. Yeah. Mwesiji, I salute you. <laughs> you are my king mm. because you've made me to be a queen. And so I calmed down the situation. Eventually we got part of that money, the big part of that money. But it was because of peace. Yes. If I had teared him down, yes. there would be nothing to show mm. for that money. Mm. Sure. And so I agree with you. Sure. Men want a calm spirit. Mm. Now, let's look about the mouth, the way girls mm. use their mouth. Talk about it. You know, someone is busy. This gentleman has asked you out for a date, or maybe you're already married, or, and you are talking non-stop. Men don't like women who talk non-stop. More especially if it is not fun. Right. <laughs> now, you, you shared with us a story before of a woman who yes. went for counseling. Yes, there's, there's a lady who went for counseling and her husband, uh, fiance, I think, they weren't married yet, went for, mm. for counseling. And um, the, the complaint uh, actually didn't even establish what the complaint was because um, uh, the, the, the counselor asked the gentleman, so what is the problem? And as he was just about to start speaking, the lady <laughs> entered, you know, and began talking, and she was going at this terrible speed, and uh, the counselor would look at her and let her finish, and then again turn to the gentleman and ask him, okay, so what do you say to... And before he answers, the lady was again He's speaking. Again. Oh my goodness, it was so... I mean, Every even day. me, my eyes were bulging. Mm. Why would she be quiet? I don't think that marriage took place. <laughs> I, I think it didn't. I, I don't know. I think the counselor must have really thought, okay, this we are, we are not even starting from zero. We are starting from negative. Mm. <laughs> because uh, the lady was speaking too much. But you're right. I think the things we... we how we use our mouth, mm. how we speak, uh, whether we are in public with our husband or, or uh, at home with the children or other members of the family or even just by yourselves in the bedroom, I think that men um, expect a uh, certain amount of respect. Mm. Not, not. I'm not talking about the, the, you know, this traditional patriarchal stuff. No, just that. Okay, he's a man. He's your husband, mm. and he expects when he speaks that you will listen. Mm. Indeed, you when you speak, he should listen. Mm. But uh, I think that as ladies, we we have too much to say. Mm. Actually, let me quote um, a pastor I have seen on on on, on YouTube and, and on Google called Mark. Mark Gango, and he says women's brains are, you know, there's so much going mm -hmm. on. And as that stuff is all going on inside our heads, that is how it comes out. Mm. We have to learn but how must to it, must it, it just come out? No, no. It, sh it mustn't just come out. Mm. It has to be organized. Um, so that at least even the person you're talking to will be able to understand what you're saying. I know a Bible verse which says, Lord put, put a brick yes. on, on my lips. Yes. That yes. is verbatim. I don't remember the exact. Yes. But it says put a Yes. A what? A, a stopper yeah, yeah. on my on my lips. Mm. And the same Bible goes on to say that rather than stay with a quarrelsome woman in the house, like mm. a you'd rather a, a nagging mm. wife yeah. who is like a dripping tap. Mm. You'd rather go out and leave her mm. the rooftop. That's true. So that is how bad talking, yes. just talking out. out uh -huh. mm. So men want a woman who is gentle, who can listen, yes. who talks mm. uh, when she is supposed to talk. Right. Okay, Jessica, tell us more. Uh, she talked of respect briefly, but I think men want women who respect them. Mm. You're in public, this is your husband. As much as also mm. we expect respect from the men, mm. the men expect respect from us. Mm. You're out, maybe you have gone to your father's home, mm. and, 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 and by mistake, because we all hear he makes a mistake, and then you're there <laughs> sharing him right. in front of mm. people. I, I don't think it's right. Mm. It if if there's anything to do, correct, whisper <coughs> to him, put him aside, or do it later. Mm. I, I also noticed that men uh, would want to, you open up to them, if you have like an issue, mm -hmm. the way you bring it out. Mm. And I think all of us human beings, right. if, if you come with in anger, then I, I am not ready, yeah, I'll be defensive, beyond defensive, yes. Mm. So they want someone who is, you sit with approach, you mm. sit with and, and settle your issues mm. in a peaceful way. Right. I know you will not be happy because mm. of what is going on, but you don't have to boil. Even, if you, even you boil, if you raise your voice, yes. it doesn't, it doesn't solve the problem. Solve the problem. Right. In fact, a man listens more when you are gentle mm. than when you shout. Mm. Wow. Wow. Too much talking, 
uh, calm spirit. spirit and respect, maximum respect. Now, I have realized that uh, women who are always embarrassed by their husbands have also tried to embarrass mm -hmm. the husband. You know, if you are at a function and you come to this man and you're like, you, what do you think? We should be going home mm. in front of his friends. Mm. He's going to tell you, just go away, leave us alone. Right. And you know, you will end up being embarrassed. Mm. Yet when you, you respect him, mm. you stand on the side mm. uh, and you wait patiently and maybe you signal him, mm. you know, gently, you will not have room for embarrassment. So I can say it normally comes <coughs> back to you what you give this man. Yes. So if you give him respect, yes. you will save yourself the embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a short break and then we'll come with much more regarding this topic, the things that men secretly admire about the women. What are those things that when a man is with a wife, the other day Martha told us that how do you feel if your husband compared okay. you with, your spouse compared you with another, eh? another we're talking about mm -hmm. children. And right. she, she's like, you compare children with other children. Mm. How do you feel if your spouse compared yes. you with another spouse? <laughs> it would be a killer. Right. And so most of these things that make the marriages and the relationships stronger that we need to, to be so keen on. Let's go for a break. We'll see you some other after the break. And we'll be able to share the hottest, the hottest of all. <laughs> the most important thing that men really want about the women that each one of us must have. See you after the break. Welcome back from the break where we have been discussing the very interesting topic of the things that men admire about women. The women they are to marry, and these things can even decide whether the man marries you or whether he just leaves the relationship like that. If you're already married, and maybe you do not build on these uh, habits or, or characteristics, it may cause a, a crack in the, in the marriage. And some men can be as bad as much as he loves you, but he will leave you and go and find such company there. And such a case is... Uh, Women who just don't dress decently. Mm. Now, dressing, the, let's be very focused. Dressing smart doesn't mean being skimpy, right? No. And dressing smart doesn't mean being dressing into very long dresses. Right. So there is a, a need to find out the interest of the person who has admired you. Mm. For instance, when he saw you the first time, what were you dressed with? Was it a short dress? Was it a long dress? If he admired you in Gomasi, it means that is his interest. And, interest. and so according to him, smart dressing is mm. Gomasi. If he found you, there are men who have met a man who says, if I find my man peeling, my woman peeling Matoke, I would finish her. <laughs> you know, he wants yeah. her to paint the no, nails no. and sit in the house and mm. be the door. Mm. So, Tell us about dressing. Thank you, Grace. Uh, for me, I think now, I in my past video, if I may cut you short, yes. I, I talked about women who dress and they are Jagalanga Mwindi. Why is it and it is as big as this and she's roaming around it and she looks like, like, <laughs> like something that <laughs> you say the sack. <laughs> Tell us right. about women, how they should mind uh, their dressing. Because women, yes. men care so much about Dressing. Because it's, it's, it, they, get, they feel embarrassed if they're out with, a, with their wife or with their girlfriend and, and they, they are dressed in a certain way mm -hmm. which the man himself doesn't find attractive. Mm -hmm. and we, we might want to think that uh, if a man has a certain character or a certain uh, appreciation of fashion, uh, his friends might have the same. So mm -hmm. if you're out with him and you're dressed in, you know, uh, sacks we talked about mm -hmm. earlier, his friends are all going to think what's wrong with this mm. man and what's wrong with his wife, you know. And I think that reflects on the man, not so much on you, yes. but on the man, and that's not a good thing. Mm. In terms of fashion, I, I recall um, one of the comments my husband uh, often makes is, <laughs> that person looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> that person is... The, where, where, where are all those colors coming from? Uh, you know? And so I think I got, I got to learn, you know, uh, slowly, that he likes cool, calm colors. Mm. 
is shouting things, mm. uh, they just put him off. Yes. And and uh, on top of the cool and calm colors, and I'm not talking about just black or just blue or gray, mm. but you know, be dressed in a way that the colors uh, don't. They, they, they are seeing the person mm. and not the colors. Mm. You know, so so that you you blend you and your dressing blend mm. as one. Uh, I also remember that uh, he 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 doesn't like. Uh, you know things that are just too big, you know, mm-hmm. so baggy and yes. you know, stuff like that. He might not like the tight, dun, 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 dun. yes, <laughs> like a wedding gown all the time. <laughs> True. So I think the fashion that we are talking about, you have to, you have to, as a woman, you you would need to appreciate uh, your husband's taste. Mm. And uh, try to blend it with your own because you also don't want to just do to everything in his other, way, yes. yes, and forget about who you really are. Mm. But have a blend. I think for me, uh, going away from those shouting colors uh, to to the to the cool tones, uh, for me was even a, a, a blessing because I ended up being studying law, mm. and in law we had to be you know mm-hmm. have to dress the, in the cool colors. So mm. I found I was actually comfortable in 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 smart mm. you know knee length. Court, mm. you know, uh, if I have if to I may come right in there, in mm. tell us about the men who, first of all, how did he see you? Mm. If he sees you uh, while he's courting you, the way you're dressed, I used to dress in uh, the way I'm dressed right now, mm. okay? Neat, right. fitting, not long, not baggy, and mm. not too squeezed. Mm. And so then I come into this marriage and I'm dressed in these huge dresses and I am, it, it was terrible. Because they told me when you get married, then you have to change your fashion and all that. Mm-hmm. And so eventually, of course he didn't even tell me that I, I had changed the fashion and I looked horrible. Yeah, I won't say it. He, I, I would dress up and he would say, I would ask, am I okay? Then he would say, ah, yeah, you're smart, no problem. <laughs> Until when I changed back to what I was, right. I realized when he saw me, this is how I dressed, right. which means I was attractive to him. Yes. Mm. And that was the real me, right. because I was like that before I met him. And so, tell us about the men who leave those women in those huge sacks, and they go out there. <laughs> what happens to the brain? Now remember, men like what they see. Very right. Uh, yes, I think that uh, they, 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 you are right. When they, are, when they are starting to quote you, the whole of you is the, is the, is the package. You're mm-hmm. a package. Mm-hmm. And then you get uh, into the house. And I think, well, for some of the ladies, maybe to, to their defense, it's not that they want to mm-hmm. just dress like that or mm-hmm. to be shabby or not attractive. You know, things get too much. You know, mm. the children, the house management, yes. maybe you're having a job. And, mm. You know, so you're trying to, you know, uh, juggle a, a few of these things. And some things will get left behind, mm. like the dressing. But uh, going back to the time that you're quoting, uh, uh, I, I, I seem to think of, of uh, a time when I was smaller. You know, right now, I'm not that small. Mm. <laughs> uh, because we were not as students at college. And uh, I, I remember every time I would ask him, do I look okay? Am I, am I fine? And he would say, yes, yes, yes. And then once in a while, he would come up with this comment, but can you do something about your stomach? <laughs> thinking, What's wrong with my stomach? Mm. Can you do something about your legs? Mm. Or and I thought, okay, you know what? I have to start paying attention. Mm. I have to listen. Mm. Because it's not something I should get angry about. Mm. Actually, for me, I think if I get a, a criticism, a, a critical comment, mm. stop and think, mm. why have they given you that comment? Mm. If you have these mirrors in your house, use the mirror. Mm. Because, you know, you, you get up in the morning and just as long as you're decent, you go to work. But use those mirrors and keep thinking, okay, what did we have back then mm-hmm. that, has, that we have let to slip away? Mm. And how can we bring it back? Mm. Because marriage should not be, you know, 30 years, 31 years down the road, 23 years. It should not be, we should, our marriage should not be getting old yes. as we grow older. Uh-huh. I think, you know, life becomes even more interesting. You have got to know each other now. Mm. You are really, you know, by, uh, uh, binding with each other, you know. Uh, so it should be better. It should be better mm. with time, like fine wine. Jessica, <laughs> tell us, she has talked about fashion generally. Mm. Now there is fashion of the undergarments, mm. okay? I have seen a bra of some people escape. Yes. And when it escapes, your imagination is run. Right. You know, when you're still dating, the, the, those undergarments, mm. they have to be white, they have mm. to be, you know. What happens with those women who <laughs> just throw them? They become a turn off right. for the men. Men want 
to look at you and they imagine. Mm. They, they are always imagining. Inside. You're standing there giving a talk. The way you're dressed, for them they are mm. imagining. What are those things that women give up on that cause their men to detest them? Thank you, Grace. If, if I'm going to, to say something in Uganda which you translate, there is this video I'm seeing on, uh, on WhatsApp. Someone says, Abachara, Mutukoyo Kubasanga, Okusiva Mutishat as a MTN, Nekavaka, run, nobody is. So, actually, sometimes, uh, like she said, when you get involved in so many things, mm -hmm. you get to forget and lose. Mm. And and just dress for. Yes, I also have my right. favorite T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So yes, uh, 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 as you said, if you wake up in the morning, you're supposed to have the way you dress going to work. Because, like she says, you uh, you don't dress for for other people. You mm. dress for your family, for yourself, for your and, and your for your man, spouse. and to be an example. If you have children, children, yes. So you shouldn't dress up and they say, "Hey, Ola Gawa." Mm. So you should wake up every day in the morning. And look for something that is presentable, mm. put on your bra, put on your knicker, mm. and dress and smartly. And they must be neat. well kept. Kept yes. and no? neat. And, and, and if, if, if it loses elastic, please throw, throw away. It away. It's not a museum. I know. <laughs> so if, sure. it loo if it's loose, throw away and get another one. They are not Don't very expensive. Don't get to the level of teaching it. No. But. They are not very expensive. And many people and and have a because they are covered. You think yes. you shouldn't care. Mm -hmm. You should care. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also when they were talking about dressing. I just wanted to chip in and say it doesn't have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. But it has you 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 dress within your limit. Yes. But be smart. Mm -hmm. So even the, even those undergarments, there are many. If you want a Max and Spencer, you get it. If mm -hmm. you are a Max and Spencer class, awesome. mm -hmm. if you are the other class, there are so many. There are so in many town. for five hundred shillings. Please mm -hmm. keep changing. Keep them clean. Yeah. Change. Yeah. Uh, and by that, I would also want to advise that once in a while, when you wash, dry them in the sun yes. to kill those the germs, the germs. Right. and iron yeah. them. Yeah. You no, know, put in between a cotton cloth. Right. And iron on top of the cotton cloth. So, so, so the undergarments are as important as the ones on top. Right. And and you've Actually, reminded they, me. they are the ones which kill the marriages most. Mm. They are so eternal. The you. you have mm. reminded me of recent the young girls and the modern women mm. don't put on half sleeves. Mm. And it's terrible. Mm. In under the, when we talk of undergarments, we talk of bras, panties, and half sleeves. Mm. If you're going to put on something that is still through, mm. please get half sleeves. Yes. They are there on the market, yeah. even yeah. cheap ones. Mm. And of recent, uh, people like putting on tights, yeah, bikers, bikers mm. which, which are sometimes tough depending mm. on the material. Mm. If, you, if you buy the ones that are for sports, mm. right. Uh, the, ma the material is uh, polyester, polyester mm. and definitely it will. Mm. So it gets you to sweat yes. and cause so, so, irritation. So a, a, a half sleep is okay, even for the young girls. Right. Yeah. Mm. True. Mm. Wow, dressing up. Now, dressing up, I realize, describes a person. You look at the person, the way he's dressed, you see the person is tired. <laughs> you look at the person, the way he's dressed, you know this one? He's a go-getter, he's going for a man. Mm -hmm. You know, if she lands on your man, there is a, a young girl who used to say, mm -hmm. You know, that we, the young teenagers, are coming, mm -hmm. so you married women, you better watch out. Because the description or your, your, your dressing up describes you as someone that they can ignore. Right. You get to a party, you will see that they are looking for people who are smart. Right. And if you're not smart, it doesn't matter whether you have money yes. or not. And then you don't talk about inner beauty. Mm -hmm. Inner beauty doesn't work. <laughs> you know, everyone wants to see. Yes, the men want to show their women off. Right. They want to, to show you off and so, so that they are, they are feeling mm -hmm. good about themselves. Mm -hmm. So men like women who are smart. Now I'm going to go into a conclusion and we are going to summarize this very quickly tell us about the food men men and food in most cases it's who cooks what you have cooked and how you eat it a man can dump a woman when they go to a restaurant 
and he sees the way you eat. Sorry. He can dump you if you do not know how to cook. In fact, I've seen uh, like uh, most uh, some men, like in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you can never get married if you don't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will first ask, is she trained? Yeah. And so if you don't know how to cook, they will not marry mm -hmm. you. Here in Uganda, how is it? I yeah, know in my case, if I may start it, mm. I have to really be on top of my right. game. My husband will not eat a millet cooked by any other person, right. unless it is me. I have to cook that one. And so if you do not know mm. that your husband is so particular about his food... Mm. I think many men are. They might not say it again like we've been talking. They won't sell you outright, mm. but uh, I think very many men, especially when they have married, are expecting their wife to be the one who cooks and presents them with this food. And I mm. think it's it's a good thing. Mm. Um, because, you know, the, 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 as he eats, and, and, and they, we are told that, you know, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That mm. is not just an idle saying. Mm. So when we are cooking the food, uh, first of all, be able to understand what kind of foods your husband would, would mm. or prefers mm. you know, or appreciates. And, uh, and then once that is done, be able to, I think variety, for me I have, I have seen uh, men comment about uh, the food presented. Mm. If every day it's matoke, In other beans. words, as we wind up, mm. you must at least know how to cook. Mm. Yes. Jessica, tell us, if you're a working woman and you're not able yeah. to cook every day, mm. should you suffer because the man wants your food cooked? His no. food cooked by you. I believe you can train the people you live with. Mm. For example, now, I, I, I am not ashamed to say that my daughter cooks better food than I do. Mm -hmm. Except for Karo. But mm. these other things, sauces, uh, baking, I have trained her. Mm. So you train your worker. And like she said, you know the food your husband is interested mm. in. And you look for and it. And you are in charge and you prepare charge. it. Yes. But those special dishes like Karo, Shabwe... Mm. You, you, you do it yourself. There are things because wow. it's a short one. It has been nice having you on this conversation. And as we conclude, this is what I, I must say. Ladies, avoid delegating all your house cooking to a, a helper, a lady who has come to help you in the house. Some ladies just go to an extent of uh, quarreling over the food. What did you cook today? Hmm? The food is even burnt. Come back home, go to the kitchen, see what they have cooked for you, see how it is going to be presented to the table, and be in charge. It's not about you cooking every day. It's about you being in charge of what is cooked and how it is presented to the table. And then pick one special day and cook. And by the way, if you cook every day, the man will get bored. <laughs> he will get, he no longer you, you get be, used. To. You get used. Mm -hmm. So your cooking must be special. Pick two, three days in a week mm -hmm. and know that you are going to do the cooking when you're fresh, when you're okay. Yes. And so, in summary, there are those things that men admire about women. Find out, take personal interest, find out what your husband admires, what your fiancé admires in a woman you can even make a simple quiz, you know, mm -hmm. like paperwork. You can ask him, mm -hmm. chatting, don't, mm -hmm. don't put him into interrogation. <laughs> Find out what he wants and be this woman that is going to be the queen. Avoid the mistakes and be the queen and our job will be to cheer you on. Yeah. See you another time. God bless you. Bye-bye.